Hey, y'all, it's your girl, Millie Chun. And I really didn't really want to talk about this because I really like Latrice. And I understand she has a show that she's on. She has to uh, promote it. And, like, she has to talk about what's happening on the show. I know that when she is on Good Day DC tomorrow, she is going to be asked what was up with you and your husband when you thought the cameras were down and the mics were off. So the show opened up with Latrice and Cliff and Cliff had his grandkids there and he was talking about, you know, how much he loved kids. He loves them around the house. And even though as long as they've been married without her having children, he said he felt like their marriage is a hoax. That's disrespectful. Then for whatever reason, she has moved one of her employees in the house due to the water crisis in Jackson, Mississippi. And he is very opinionated about Latrice and her marriage to Cliff. Now, anybody who is married, you know that you really cannot let anyone penetrate that circle and definitely have an opinion to talk about your spouse. Like, that's not cool at all. And that's exactly what Josh has done. And... Latrice let us know as she was talking to Carlos King that she and Josh have been friends for like 10 years, longer than she's been married to Cliff. Fast forward to the end of the show. So Latrice, like anybody else who works, has friends, sometimes you don't know what you're going to do at the end of the day, right? You don't know. So if your girl or your guy says, let's go to the cigar bar, let's go to get a drink, like you let your person know, like, I'm going to run out here and do this real quick. That's not uncommon. But Cliff found it to be uncommon, disrespectful, and he even said that Latrice did not ask him for permission. That was crazy. It went on for so long, he had um, told her, let's go outside, we're not filming anymore, take your mic off. And so once she took the mic off and he told the cameras to get away because this was a private matter. So when she thought that had happened, like he went full out. And I'm going to tell you something. If you watch the show, 100%, that was not the first time that Cliff had talked to her like that. That's not the first time he's called her out of her name. And that's not the first time she's dealt with that. This is just how I feel personally about it. And like sometimes I do feel like I'm too invested because I've been thinking about this for a minute. Like nobody deserves to be treated like that. So when she's on Good Day DC tomorrow, I don't know how she's going to pivot this. So maybe we'll see and we can talk about it later. Bye y'all. Let me know what you think.